Det märker jag första turen jag körde att den var när det blåste så så måste jag stoppa för att inte skulle komma in i bilen. Nästa tur jag körde då tog jag med en strumpebuxa till min fru. Nylon nylon strumpe. Tredde den utanför intaget i filtret. Och den var ju mot att ut och börste veck flera gånger för bilen mitt och gå dålig och då var det tätt i det filtret. <laughs> Uh, we all have our comfort zones, things we're familiar with, and to take that away and go into a hostile environment would be quite frightening, I think, because when he was letting his tyre pressures down and let them down too far and blew two tyres, and he only, only had two replacements, should he have taken more spares with him? What would they do if another tyre had gone on that truck? Really, I should have turned back and bought some new tyres, but I didn't give it that much thought. If you're an explorer, you're an explorer, and there's only one direction, forward. I saw grown men cry, lots tougher and stronger than me, you know? They just don't want to go any further. And they abandon trucks. I once figured out that it's about 30 million feet from Oslo to Dubai. Now look at me, digging my way along three feet at a time. I wonder how long it would take me if I had to dig all the way from Norway to here. Jeg la merke til på filmen at bilen hadde Robson Drive, og den brukte den ikke. Den ville jeg nok kanskje prøve å bruke. I'd hoped to use my Robson Drive in the loose sand, but neither it nor the bogey hoist works in the heat. It's certainly taking time. Still, three feet is three feet. Getting closer all the time. Three feet closer to Dubai. Don't ask me why I set up the Norwegian flag in the sand. I've no idea. I guess I just panicked a bit and hoped the flag would give me some reassurance. Perhaps I thought I'd landed on the moon and wanted posterity to know that the first man on the moon with a truck was a Norwegian. I certainly felt like an explorer. bodily energy he went through, shoveling sand away from the tyres to, uh, to try and alleviate the obstacle so he could get grip to move forward. And then over he moving a short distance and the same thing was happening again. So not an easy journey. Would they get to their destination? Would they run out of fuel? Would they survive? Ingenting sker. I hopeless. Well, 
that's that. Things became a little more hairy. 